More than a month after it unexpectedly woke up from its slumber, Kilauea, the volcanic crown jewel of the Hawaiian archipelago, is continuing to light up the night with its glorious displays of fire fountaining and cascades of incandescent lava. Since December 20, 2020, the island of Hawaii's restless shield volcano has been erupting molten rock out of its bowl-shaped summit, from the Halamaumau pit within, like lavas going out of fashion. It's seriously impressive to see and, thanks to its confinement in that rocky coliseum, the pyrotechnics remain far from the people living on its sizable slopes, making the eruption a delight for volcanologists rather than a cause for major concern. Not known for sitting on their hands, scientists at the U.S. Geological Survey's Hawaiian Volcano Observatory have been out in the field, pointing scientific instruments at the eruption and grabbing bits of freshly cooled lava. And in doing so, they've already answered a key question about the new eruption, where's all that lava coming from? I know, it sounds like a silly question. Of course the lava's coming out of the fissure in the side of the Halamaumau pit, right? Yes, you've nailed it, but that's not what I mean here. Working out what's making that magma matters. Volcanoes don't just have an infinite supply of magma, so finding out what's making new magma and driving an eruption helps us better understand why it erupts in the ways it does. It was long presumed that, when a volcano like Kilauea stops erupting, it's because it ran out of fuel. But the volcano's 2018 eruption sequence threw a wrench into the works. The paroxysm, which began in late April early May, was producing an enormous amount of lava, volcanic gases and seismic activity when, on August 4 of that year, everything abruptly shut down. Why would it have done so right at the peak of its lava-making production? Using the amount of lava clocked coming out of its eastern flanks, and comparing that value with the changing topography of the volcano, scientists worked out how the shape, and, roughly, the volume, of the magma cache responsible altered over time. They found that, at most, just a third of the magma was erupted, with the rest still stored up ready to go. It's not yet understood why the eruption suddenly ceased on August 4, but it became clear that volcanoes don't have to exhaust their fuel sources to stop setting the world on fire. Saying that, the eruption in 2018 was so prolific that there was expected to be a delay of several years before Kilauea began erupting again in earnest. That it did so just two and a half years after what was essentially the epic finale of a 35-year-long eruption came as a surprise to volcanologists. Immediately after the 2018 eruption gave up the ghost, seismic grumblings were heard emanating from the summit, indicating that the magma reservoir was already filling up. A future eruption was inevitable.